Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining Art Kirsch and myself with the fabulous Bill Jordan. It's always fabulous. great to talk to Bill Jordan, the master uh, and the creator of Embrace the Boom movement for us boomers, baby boomers. Hey, man, Bill, look at that. He's got his yeah. mug ready to go. Appreciate that, guys. Appreciate it. Just trying to empower and inspire and encourage my fellow members of the baby boomer generation. If you are still alive, you still have a reason to be here. And some, sometimes it's just you're trying to figure out the reason why. Uh, you, you know, you John, here. you use the, 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 the uh, uh, adjective fabulous. And one thing about Bill, Bill always looks fabulous. Like, you're fabulous, darling. Who was that, Billy Crystal? You used to say that? You look yeah. marvelous. marvelous. He was marvelous no, Saturday marvelous. Night Live. You so, were marvelous, darling. Marvelous. So you, look, you look fabulous, uh, Bill. Uh, but I have Thanks. a question for you, because you you opine on all things Boomer, and there is a, a concept that when people get older, particularly old guys, become a curm curmudgeon, they get grumpy, and you're not a grumpy guy, and John and I are not grumpy guys. Is that a myth? Have you seen? I haven't seen grumpy old guys yet. That seems to be a picture that gets painted about um, uh, boomers. Is yeah. that well? You know, you know what? It wasn't that long ago. What was the eighties, nineties? The two movies with uh, Walter Matthau and Jack Lemmon, grumpy old men. Oh and yeah, then, yeah. And then yeah. grumpier old men. Of course, it didn't hurt that Anne Margaret was in one and Sophia Loren was in the other movie. I yeah. mean, it wasn't. That wasn't too bad. I think there is a tendency, and I've, I have seen people as they get older, they say almost with a point of pride that they don't have a social filter anymore. They just say whatever they want to say to anybody they want to say it to. Um, it's kind of like people, and I reference it in my book, Embrace the Boom, beware of people, and this is just my experience, beware of people who say with pride I can be brutally honest oh, because yeah. my experience has been they are far more proud of the brutality than of the honesty. Yeah. So, yeah, I think there's a grumpy old man thing of, you know, get off my lawn. You know, it's the stereotype, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. I just I don't want to be that guy. I want to be the the old guy that people want to talk to. And maybe if I can impart some they ask me something about their job or something about life, then I can talk to them about it. If I can advise them, if I can help them in any way, that's what I want to do. Why not? Why be a uh, negative if you can be a positive? So yeah, the, the, the notion of being a grumpy old man, I mean, I sure don't want to, I sure don't want to do that. I don't want to be that, that guy that, Hey, I don't want to go see Poppy. I don't want my grandkids or my daughter. I don't want to go. Nah, nah. You know, we're setting ourselves up for some sort of some sort of insult or something. If we go see him, he's going to comment on our hair or our weight or something like that. I, why do that? So yeah. um, live your life so that people have good memories of you. I, did we talk about this before about the, I, you know, the, the virtues? I, we, might, we might have touched on it. The uh, virtues, there are two virtues. There are resume virtues, like what looks good on your resume at work. And then there's eulogy virtues of what people say about you when you're gone. So yeah. why live your life that people are like, man, I'm glad that guy's <laughs> yeah. out of here. You know, why I live like that? So I think not... you make a really good point, Bill. And, and the point that maybe you glossed over slightly is that it is a choice. Hmm. You don't want to be a grumpy old guy. You don't have to be if you don't want to. Some, and let's it face it, sometimes, sometimes it's fun to be a grumpy old guy. I will admit that. I'm yeah. just, you know, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, I mean, look, we're all human. Sometimes, you know, something can, you know, get you kind of miffed and you'll come across as a grumpy old man. But this constant persona that I have witnessed of yeah. like being proud of being grumpy, I, I don't I don't get it. It seems like there'd be a lot of wear and tear on your own psyche, you know, to live in such a negative manner. That's just yeah. me. Then don't do it, for God's sakes. Well, but other people take pride in it. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it's like people who kind of like that notion that they're the grumpy old guy. Well, yeah, they're they're, they're from they, the they're from the bar Humber, uh school of uh, yeah. personality, uh, and I guess there are a few like that. But maybe maybe it's just because we're not we're just not surrounded by them. Uh, but 
you know, it's just like, um, uh, as you say, if you lose a filter, then, and you say anything, then probably nobody wants to really be a friend anyway. And you're probably, you're probably going to be happy that you're not going to hear your eulogy. <laughs> yeah, if there is one. All right. Well, let, for us three happy guys, I just want to say embrace the boom um, and be happy. Don't That's be it, grumpy. Man. Be happy. Yeah, be positive. Live your life. Forget your age. Embrace the boom. Celebrate wherever you are in your life. Yes, celebrate your Act 2, for God's sakes. That's it. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.